Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Revealed Magic. Today, I'm going to be showing you a classic trick. Pen in nose, out mouth. mouth. So you want to know how to do that trick? Great. I'm going to show you that right now. Here's how you're going to be doing this if you haven't figured it out already. Here is a back ink. I'm just going like this. Now this might take some practice. So all you got to do, hold it like this. So you're going to have your three fingers like right over your middle finger. So even sometimes you can hold it without using your thumb. You can put your thumb there. And you're just going to put it in your nose like that. So I'm, I recommend doing this when you're first practicing. So when you do this, you're not actually pushing it up your nose. You're just sliding your fingers just like that. And then you, it's concealed inside. If you do it quick enough, it'll look real. But you got to practice before showing You got to practice people. before showing people. Because you can mess this up, and I have before. I've only got... And then it's like, it looks messy. And it looks obvious that I'm going like that. And it's just a huge mistake. So don't do that. Make it smooth. Okay? So once you have it up your nose, you're going to bite down. Just like that on the end. With your lips closed so no one can tell you're biting. And just slide off. Okay. I'm going to show you one more time, okay? Ready? Put it in your nose. Try not, try and push lightly, because once I have held on too hard, pushed it up my nose and went, oh! And they're like, you were supposed to push it up your nose. And I said, well, I did it incorrectly or something stupid. So you don't want to push it up in, actually in your nose. So just go. And then bite, slide. So you're not oh, actually hurting yourself. And it might be a little gross, but you'll get used to just putting in your nose and then licking it with your tongue. Hey guys, it's Illusion Expert, and today we're gonna learn two simple magic tricks done with pens. Let's get to it. The first one is a pencil vanish or a pen vanish you can do with both. It's like this. And then you could bring it back, vanish it again, show both hands, and make it reappear. It's, uh, it's not simple, it needs a little bit of practice, but it's cool, so you could do it at school and uh, work, college, wherever you want. It's amazing. Okay, so this is how it's done. You're gonna start by holding the pencil or the pen between both of your fingers here and both of your fingers here, like this. So you're holding it with your thumbs and both your fingers. Because then you're gonna go like this in slow motion. You're gonna curl your uh, your middle finger on the right hand, and uh, the left hand will be hold the thumb will be holding the pencil, so it will snap. So uh, it, you're putting pressure here, and then snapping it like this. But you're gonna hide it with these hands. So. Put pressure with your middle finger, snap it back. You need to be either facing the audience or your or the back of your hand here facing the audience. You're you're gonna take the audience at an angle, so when it vanishes, it's hiding behind this hand, and you're gonna keep holding it with the middle finger in place between the middle finger and the index. So, like this without the fingers right here, like this. So, you need to do the same uh, thing, like a mirror image between two hands. So you need both middle fingers to go down and thumbs to go up to show that your advantages and your hand is empty. The more you do it, the faster it becomes. With a little uh, uh, flick like this, it will be much more uh, beautiful. 
and you can make it reappear again or make it reappear behind your... The next one is a vanish, is a coin vanish, done with a pencil. It's usually done with a wand, but uh, the pencil is now our wand. So, uh, you take a coin, the coin like this, you place the wand in your hand with the coin, you tap the hand one time, and the coin should vanish, like this. You can make it reappear by tapping again, and it's reappeared. So, let's get to the trick. So, uh, you close your hand, you put the pencil right in your hand, and uh, be careful not to stab yourself, and you're gonna push it like this to the bottom. And once you have this ledge to hold on and pull the pen, or pencil, you're gonna steal the coin in this moment. So it's right here, as you are pulling the pencil down, you're dropping the coin from this hand to the other hand. Okay, it's hard to do it. Like this, then as you are coming to hold the pencil, you're gonna drop it, like this, and then pull the, uh, the pencil. And keep concentrating on your hand, so they concentrate on your hand and then vanish. So we're gonna take the 50 euro, fold it like this, hold it, and then try balancing it on one thumb. So it's balanced, and this is without any wires, no thing on my thumb, and it could be borrowed, inspected, the levitating paper money is done. You'll first need a borrowed bill, then you're gonna take a coin, so you're gonna slide behind the 50, and fold another time so it won't fall, so now it's secure, you're gonna balance it on your, you're gonna bal try balancing it on your thumb, and it's balanced, so uh, you're gonna do like this, no wires, and then watch the paper clip as it goes up the rubber band, like so, and this is the levitating ring. So, here's how the trick works, and uh, any board object or board ring, you're gonna place the ring onto the rubber band, and what you're gonna do you're gonna place most of the rubber band in your hand, like so, and stretch this part. And what you're really doing, you're really just pinching the rubber band between your index and thumb and letting some pressure out. And this will seem as if the uh, rubber, uh, as if the ring is going up the band, so it's like this. But this is how it's done. Like this. Go subscribe to them, you beautiful people.